Hello dear painting friends, my name is Hendrik and welcome to my Skulls and Paints tutorial on how to paint wood in an easy and realistic looking way. This is going to be a five step process, you need just a handful of colors for it and it is going to be a fun and rewarding painting session and I will be using the wood beams and doors on this tabletop world townhouse number three. Enough talking, let's get started. If you have very big spaces and parts like the roof over here and also the interior parts, I do recommend using an airbrush as it speeds things up a lot. It's a lot faster to airbrush all these shingles and the wooden floors inside of the building with an airbrush than doing it with a normal brush. Um, you also will need a dry brush. I'm again using my cheap makeup dry brush that I bought for like 10 euros for a set of 12 of different sizes and these five colors. Of course you can use any colors that you use at home. Online you can find a variety of tables which transfer colors from one brand to another uh, color in another brand. I'm using what I have and I will start off with a very dark brown. I really like this P3 Umbral Umber. It's a very nice base layer and that's what we're going to use now to start painting. Umbral Umber base coat applied and if you have been using very thin layers you might want to apply too. It's time to move forward to step two and that is a dry brush with Vallejo Earth color. You can use any comparable color. This is again as I've said previously the colors I have and that's why I use them but you can just look up online what this would be as a citadel color or as a petri color or a pro acryl color or an army painter color or whatever kind of color. Um, instead of this big dry brush because we um, already have painted all the stonework around it we're using a smaller dry brush what you can do is do the wood at the same time as you paint the stones because then you can just use the big dry brush and do all the dry brushing in one go. But as I've made a separate video about the uh, stone walls, I now will need to use a smaller dry brush to dry brush uh, earth color onto my wood as a first highlight. With the first dry brush applied and we move on to step number three which is another dry brush this time with a slightly lighter color I am using Vallejo game color Keiki or Kaki and I will dry brush this again over all the wooden parts. Yeah. 
cool after those two nice easy dry brushes of our wood we are applying again a filler um, it's exactly the same colors that we used um, for the uh, stones um, we're using here khaki and sand color we water them down a lot and then we add them to the wood this helps define the wood grain and gives it a nice aged look it also brings the whole door together rather nicely so without much further ado let's jump in and make our filler layers these filler layers are again applied in a completely random fashion and you can apply them to the complete wood piece and don't need to be very clean but as always the cleaner you work the better it is with these filler layers applied we are ready for the fifth and final step of painting realistic looking wood for that we're using black color you also could use a black ink some people like to use nuln oil for example from citadel i don't have nuln oil in a non-glossy version and the glossy version looks really crap and i've had very good uh, results with just a lot of water and these uh, Vallejo model color black so that's what I'm using what's really important is that in comparison with the previous step where I used quite a large volume um, brush and I actually painted the whole wood so the whole beams or the whole door in this case in in this step we want to use a very thin and fine step and apply the black wash only to the grooves in the wood this is a precision work and it will take a lot of time but if you take the time to do it correctly and don't rush over it with a big brush or just paint everything black then you will have a really nice looking aged and realistic look so i really do suggest take a thin small brush water down your black color a lot and take a lot of time in applying the black wash to the grooves in the wood don't rush it take your time patience is key in this step And with the fifth step completed and the black wash applied to the grooves in the wood we are finished with the wood on this model I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to paint realistic looking wood if you did leave a thumbs up as it really helps to get the video into the magical youtube algorithm if you would like to see the next installments of how i'm painting this tabletop world building the next installment will be about the metals on the building please hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it that way you will not miss any future installments as always thanks for taking the time to watch my videos and see you in the next one peace